response to what Abby Martin said? Well, you know, this is Abby's uh, desperate attempt to discredit me. I am a man of the field. I fought against Hamas as part of intelligence, legitimate intelligence organization, against savage group that were targeting uh, civilians in suicide bombing attacks, waves of suicide bombing attacks that they killed people indiscriminately. So Abby today want me for some reason to apologize for saving human life because my truth uh, challenges her convenient truth. Um, Abby does not have the authority. Uh, she's just a self-appointed uh, low-grade uh, journalist. How can you be a journalist and you call this a genocide, ethnic cleansing? And she just keep repeating ethnic cleansing, genocide, colonialism, etc. None of it is real, including Palestine. It's only in your head. None of it is existential. Palestine was never born. How can you free it? It was never there. It's just a colonial entity. And some people choose to make it into a national identity. And this parrot has been just repeating Hamas propaganda. Marwan Barghouti that she's talking about him, she never met him. I knew Marwan before he got to power. He is a criminal. He killed five people. He has blood on his hands. He cheated on his wife. He has a secret son that he never revealed it to the public. Of course, I can criticize him and I can criticize all the criminals that I know personally. She's been there only for a visit and maybe she had some falafel sandwich, you know, and she really was blown away of the Palestinian experience. There is no such a thing as Palestine. It's about time to retire, find a different job. You're not a journalist. You don't qualify even to be a mother. Wow.